folks folks how you doing how you doing welcome welcome back and welcome back to the crypt i'm always your host raven uh okay so all right let's get into it so there's an arrest video that i guess came out like a little bit ago a couple weeks ago and uh of course credit goes where credit's due so uh please uh if you would uh give a the channel bgtv a like for this and go check out the unedited version of course um i will i, sh I will post a link in the description to the original because i think that is the right thing to do so thank you bgtv for getting out this great footage but first first uh, i was told i should check out a video that rev made yesterday something about pizza i don't know i heard i was mentioned or somebody and my thing that was mentioned um again we don't give these creators money we don't give these abusers any food or any products we all know uh who does that so let's start out with that with, yeah let's start out with that and also guys if you would please like and subscribe if you're not i do greatly appreciate it and let's get started hope everyone's having a nice and relaxing sunday but uh let's see who's here it's your birthday oh welcome <laughs> uh happy birthday lynn this is for lynn guys give lynn some green hearts in the chat for her birthday yes lynn happy birthday happy birthday to you what's up scotty scott <laughs> squirrel <laughs> how you doing and hey what's up you do what's up sage what's up waiting for karma how you doing all right let's get started you guys are awesome thank you very much yeah and uh anja i'm sorry if i don't pronounce that right i want to so if i mess that up uh we do green it's just like uh it's just been a crypt thing for like ever that's why we like do green hearts or like the horns you know it's just a thing we do but you know what red hearts is fine with me you know, uh, but uh, hey, definitely not Kelly. What is up? Let's get into this though. Get started. Hear what Riff Raff has to say. But again, thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. You remember you told me you love me, baby. Great Said start. You come this way again, baby. <laughs> Don't go down like that. Hey, baby, 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 oh baby, I love you. Okay. What's up, guys? Hi, everybody. What's up? What's up? What's up? So I'm going to talk about a little something right now, okay? I was talking to a buddy of mine on Instagram, and it turns out that there was a term, terms of service update on YouTube, huh? What's up, Reinhardt, our heart co? What's up, April? Yeah, so uh, little pirate 73, what's up? So very interesting little thing here, man. It seems that in the new terms of service, what's up, Stacy Blackwood? Uh, reaction channels are going to have a really bad day. You want to know why? Because in the new terms of service, if somebody that's been banned from YouTube, if they're using videos from somebody that's been banned on YouTube, what's up, Teddy Bear, my bro? Uh, it turns out that the new policy is going to be, if you're, if you're using banned individuals on YouTube, like, really, you can't hear me? Damn it. Well, my mic is... Yeah, wise guy. Oh, my God, wise guy, right? I'm, I don't know, Teddy Bear, brother. I think sometimes your phone has issue because, like, other people can hear me. Um, it's because he's messing it's with you, Instagram stupid. Weird. I know you can hear me. Yeah, thanks, wise guy. Yeah, I think it's your phone, Teddy Bear. Thank you, Stacy. Good now. Okay. Anyway, no longer are you going to be able to use banned people's videos on YouTube. So people like in the old days, Dragnot and Carrie, bye bye. You're done. You're done. Your channels are going bye bye. They needed to do that a long time ago. I'm so glad. Yeah, exactly. Like if we're not allowed right. on there, why the hell are you able to put our videos on there and have? Uh, by the way, just let me interject in his craziness. Uh. This is something that they've been saying for a long time. Uh, they don't understand YouTube or the terms of service or how they work. Terms of service, yes, has um, oh, it's always being updated all the time, but this part hasn't changed. And he doesn't understand uh, the meaning of of content. I think what they mean and and what they've meant this whole time is using like an archive channel. Without, you know, you can't just take something without adding anything to it. 
that's what they mean. Making a, a video and having a commentary is still allowed because it falls under the terms of service of, of a commentary. But you have to talk. You know, you have to add something to it. So still, Rev, that's... Uh, no bullshit. <laughs> no bullshit. Uh yeah. So, but let's continue, folks. Have our faces. We're supposed to be persona non grata, completely persona non grata on YouTube. So how the hell do you have these assholes that are monetized? They monetize our videos. It's our, yeah, karma. Exactly, wise guy. That's right. Uh, it's about... Uh, we'll, we will get to that when 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 that when that comes up. Uh, I have my theories, of course, especially with uh, what he says. But we we will get to that when that uh, when that happens. I'll give you my own opinions. Of course, I don't know anything, but I know it didn't come from me and anybody that uh, that helps me out. That's for sure. I think I've given them a dollar one time. Seriously, like a dollar. I've never bought them food. I never gave them money. Because again, uh, Rev was offered money many times from the viewers to come on my channel and give me an hour. And listen here, Rev, that, that thing is still up there. That pot never left. It's like $100 in that pot. I haven't touched it. I left it there. I didn't put no money into it. And it's just for you to come up and answer questions. You don't have to even have Shani. In fact, I would rather you not have uh, Scammy. Because it seems like she talks you out of saying... Um, what you want to say, what you want out there. But uh, here, let's get back to the video. No time, and I'm very happy that they did it finally. Um, I really, I don't think we should be off of there, but uh, you know, with this, this stuff has happened, and I understand it. If people are hey, offended by whatever, we're gone, and it's cool. But really, it's about time they did something like that. So I want to say God bless everybody. It's really interesting what happened. It's really good news. Yeah, finally fasting for life. God bless you. It absolutely is great news. So uh, I just want to give a little message to the internet. Oh, here it goes. Uh, no, I don't have a cold. Um, I just got back from the store. You know, it was cold over there. Uh, but, you know, there is a lot of people getting sick lately. So, you know what? Who knows? So, what does this say? Hold on. And, and this is the funny part. They got to put Carrie's name in there. Yo. Uh, and like, again, with no proof. But uh, I could tell you from history because, you know, that's how you usually figure things out context clues and all that that's this would be the joshi bear uh individual as uh rebel called ha 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 <laughs> you know the guy who's lying to him and stuff this is his style he likes to buy them pizza like all the time and like i don't i don't get it i don't understand it but again child abusers you know uh what is it you know they flock together <laughs> And that is so not allegedly. Uh, I you can I can show everyone the police reports. But anyway, what does this say? Carrie won't be what? Won't be talking much, much longer. Wow, what the hell? You know what? To some people, that might be come off as a threat. I'm just saying. And we know the person that sent this piece. Uh, he's a disgusting in person, and he's the uh, threatening type. But he's really a wimp. You know, another keyboard warrior. There's your message for today for the internet, okay? Somebody else won, Carrie. I hate to tell you. you get and you, you know that it's not, you know, this is how you know Rev is lying. This is his tell. I would love to play cards against him. I would win so much because he can't stop smiling. Like, ha, 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 uh, 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 I know who sent this and you're done. Ha, ha, ha. Like, okay, I'm sure I believe you. You know what I'm saying? I hate to tell you that somebody else won. I would like to thank, um, God bless Michelle Ann. God bless you. We're human people. Yeah, over there. So thank you, wise guy, for that kind statement. Uh, I'll be a hot street on charcoal grill. That's great. <laughs> well, whatever, man. That's 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 cool. But I just want to say thank you to everybody, and I want to thank, I want to thank Draven's uh, Draven's pocket gerbil, um, Katie, <laughs> for the pizza. Like you're awesome. I really did. Now, seriously, you're really awesome because this pizza, I'm telling you right now, this is new. This is Valley Pizza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is like the best place. I hadn't had this pizza yet. Okay. This is my please uh, chew before you eat or <laughs> chew before you eat. <laughs> chew before you talk, please, for fuck's sake. Best place in our area. Draven's Pocket Gerbil. Katie, you're amazing. Thank you. God bless you guys. I'll see you soon. Yeah, again, uh, I don't know anyone who's given uh, this guy food. 
besides like hot pizza or, or whatever. And it was the same dude. So all I say to that is uh, we know who sent him the pizza. It's his, his teddy bear friend. And he's trying to make this more discourse, but this is kind of a pathetic, pathetic uh, move. And it's kind of obvious. So once again, it's a uh... bullshit. <laughs> a bullshit. Yeah. So anyway, let's uh, get to the video. Uh, let's get to this arrest video. Because I, like I said, I didn't see it. And I'm like, man, I, I got to cover that. I was waiting for another arrest video that's been taking forever. Um, you know, when uh, she got rid of Rev. But this is when they violated the court order. So if you don't know, they got arrested. And, you know, until you go to court, you know, and actually go there and not speak to anybody on the phone. Because judges don't do phone things. They don't, you know, it. they really don't. I mean, I know a lot of online things now, you know, post-COVID has done it. But this is the year, November 21st, 2019. So uh, there was you know, definitely like no way to retract uh, a restraining order. And again, these restraining orders are for not only it, they're for the safety of Shani and Rev and for the safety of the town and the neighborhood. You know, these two were screaming, fighting. There was kids there, you know, uh, drug use happening. And that's not alleged. That's true. So it's a protection on them. And I wish the police could have explained it to them because right away, Shani and Rev always are like, oh my God, they're messing with me. They're picking on me. It's 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 the, this people, the, that people. No, it's not. It's you need to wait to go back to court. And then when the court says you could be around each other, because if, if something would have happened and they would have gotten into another fight, it would be on the court. Because they have to make sure that you guys are abiding by these rules. So once again, these two want to skate by rules. You know, surprise, surprise. But let's get into it, guys. Uh, please like, because this is, should be a doozy. Two seven two. I have five nine five attempting to make contact. Attempting to. And uh, just also, by the way, so this is the uh, just for, for a little uh, context. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk. I'm gonna try not to talk that much, you know. But I just want to give you guys context so you know what you're seeing. Rev and Shani got together at first when Shani drove from uh, Minnesota to Scranton, Pennsylvania, with her two children Christmas Eve. Next thing you know, they go to Colorado, so they don't have to get in trouble with CPS and smoke all the pot they want and this and that. They first go to this place, this apartment, which was a small, crappy apartment. But again, I always feel like they should have just stayed in PA and just fixed that house. But anyway, they went to this apartment. They got a lot of um, attention here and people found out their address because they're stupid and they put out their address to get stuff sent to them. And you know what? I don't need nothing sent to me. I don't need no P.O. box. <laughs> you know? Cold hard cash is fine with old Draven here. <laughs> I don't need anything sent to me. That's fine. I can buy it myself. You know, just make it all easier. Uh, and Rev's doing it up to this day because this guy, it keeps sending him pizza. And Rev doesn't even realize that, that how dangerous that is that this person has his address. But again, I digress. So anyway, they ha after getting so much flack here and after this arrest video, that's when they moved from here to the three uh, tier condo that cost three grand a month that Rev could barely afford at the time. So that's what you're looking at here. To make contact with one. Yes, thank you, Hooves. Hey, Gary. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yo, I, okay, let me ask you a question since you are in here. Did you think that, that was crazy that Rev made that video? <laughs> they put, put your name in marker. It's like Rev does not care. Toxic fumes from that Sharpie? Who gives a shit? I got pizza. <laughs> Like, seriously, like the moron couldn't write on the outside of the box. You know what I mean? Or on a piece of paper. It's just so 
stupid. And you know what? Cringe. This is like the cringiest troll crap ever. It's like Teddy, you know. And again, I don't like bring up this guy's name because he's he's a really huge uh, cow and a, and a little wimp and a pussy. But uh, he uh, he does the worst trolling. And dude, you tried to get us all to fight. You failed. It failed. Okay. Obviously, it failed. You know, and uh, any future trolling you try to do by making people think that someone else is buying them food when we all know it's you and, and saying, ha ha, Carrie, you lost. It's dude, you, you, you failed. Just want to say you failed. Yes, you will. <laughs> hey, Red Shot. Yeah, you know they're talking in there, and Shane's like, you open the door, I'm not going to the door, my anxiety. Hi, are you Jason? Yeah, I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Officer Ray with Bodoclis Department. Yes. Uh, do you own the Tahoe, the red Tahoe there? The red Tahoe? Yes, yeah. I do. That's my name. Okay, so the reason I'm contacting you is because your vehicle was seen by witnesses in Columbine Elementary School yeah. on Friday? Yes, Friday. Yeah, so okay. uh, you hit a car while you're backing out of your parking spot? Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh man, this is when holy crap, I actually never seen this before. This is so cool. Um, you know, I've heard about him getting mad with the police when they came there, but actually seeing it when the police actually showed up. So yeah, for a little bit more context, Red went to pick up Shani's autistic son. Don't want to say his name, um, you know, for privacy and all that. And when he did it, he was so crazy that day. And he even made a video, which is kind of hard to find. I have bits and pieces of it, but there used to be a video of him doing it. I, I wish I would have kept it at the time. And he just took off with the autistic child in the car, drove back to the house. And when they went there, obviously they're like, well, uh, you didn't do that, which by itself would have been grounds to arrest him right there. But seeing big shanny there they're like wait a minute you guys aren't supposed to be together so, <laughs> so then she gets arrested again for that and again shanny looking back you should blame rev because he hit a car he hit a run if he would have just stayed there and been like you know what i, I blacked out you know busy day a lot on my mind give me the ticket at the at the school this never would have happened just saying did i Yes, did I hit a car? Okay. You did, and the damage of the car, okay. damage with the ma the damages with your car. Yeah. So I'm giving you the opportunity to tell me what happened. Okay. Oh, sure. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, when we were at the school, like, hey. right, was pulling up. Uh, when we, yo, first of all, Shani was not there. What's up, Kinky? How you doing? But Shani was not there at the, at, at the school. It was just Rev. But you see, this is her problem. What, what happened? You know what? She should have stayed hiding behind the door or wherever the hell she was just hiding right now. I didn't know you wanted to. I did. Okay, I, well. I, 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 I Write the ticket. Slow yeah. down. <laughs> I'm giving know. you the, it depends. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I giving have, you the opportunity, the yeah, opportunity to tell me. Yeah, I did it. I'm, shh, I'm sorry. I Look, slow down, okay? Oh, sorry, I have borderline person. Let me deal okay, with Okay, so. <laughs> oh, man. A bullshit? A bullshit? <laughs> okay. She's always like, I'm sorry, I got BT, BT, BT. No, she's just like, write the tickets so you can move on because she knows she's not supposed to be there. You know, but again, Shani had to get her big butt involved in the conversation. What's happening with her? She just, just let Rev talk to the police officer and dealt with that. But, you know, she always has to get involved. And again, to me, I always feel like one of Shani's biggest enemies besides food is herself. Okay. Would you shut up and go? Man, you're abusive. Do you know? But do you know what happened? Do you know why you didn't stop? Because there was a child inside the vehicle. No, I didn't even know that. Yeah, I, I know I, you didn't know. Yeah, but there was a child I in the vehicle. Didn't know. 
Oh, whoa. Wait, hold on. I knew that that one kid, uh, Shane's kid, was in his vehicle. So he hit a car that had a kid in that car, too? And then you drove off, Rev, out of school, you piece of trash. I mean, for everyone to know, to understand, like, there is cameras now at basically every school now, at least in America. So if you bump into a car, just get out. It is what it is. You know, that's life. Bite the bullet. It's insurance. Don't drive away because they have your, you know, it's like doing something at a gas station. Don't go to gas stations to do deals, you know, <laughs> because they have the best of cameras because people drive away not pumping, you know, paying for gas all the time. They can zoom into your license plate. Wow. Wow, Rev. You are just awful. You know, you, this guy just loves to endanger children's lives. Know that. And she had pain, but you should have stopped it to take a look. I didn't know that. Okay, so you know. My wife and I had a fight that night, and it wasn't happy. Okay. And I did. I realized I hit it, but I, I thought it was just, like, literally touching it. Like, that's how I recall it. I was going back, and I touched it. Okay. And I was like, oh, and then I just went. Okay. Because oh. actually you leave to Sorry that the quality is kind of... Is this the best quality? Uh, oh, no. 720. Because I just realized that he's kind of like, you know... Rev's got no shirt on. Ugh. I know you guys don't want to see that. Maybe I should bring it back to the lower quality, actually. The vehicle. What? The, yeah. With I impact? Lift, lifted yeah. it? Yeah. With okay, impact? I don't believe that. Well, several witnesses saw. I don't several. care. I don't believe that, so... Okay. You don't care? No. Okay. I don't care don't because say I didn't. That. All right. I then. didn't. I didn't feel it lift. If there's a ticket or something. Yeah, there is a ticket. I was just deciding which kind of ticket I was gonna give uh, it to you. Just give me but, a ticket. Yeah, I, mean, I will. I will come back. Okay. You'll come back. Yes. Have a good night. Yeah. All right. When are you gonna come back? Ew, he's such a jerk off. Yeah, you're gonna come back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what a gaslighter Rev is. I'll contact you, ma'am. Am I in trouble? No, you're not in trouble, ma'am. You know you are. Oh, here we go, folks. Place your bets. Here, I'll, I'll do a poll while I'm playing this. Please, everyone, participate in the poll. I would appreciate it. Making contact. <laughs> We're making contact. Yo, it's like talking to aliens. <laughs> A farm. Because I don't, I really don't know. I heard she does. I haven't watched much of this. Guys, put down the pipe and answer the door. <laughs> they said they were coming back. FFS. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh. Oh. Yes. Hi, Jason. Okay. How are you? Oh, I mean, the way he was talking. Okay, so here's your ticket. Okay, ma'am. So the violation is leaving the scene of an accident. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Yes. So you have to go to court. Okay. All right. This address, this okay. date, and time. Okay, 1226. Yeah. I just okay. want to confirm what's your date of birth. Okay, my date of birth is 8 19 uh -huh. Okay. So. And I'm sorry about last night. I was, I was tired. I, I care very much about this. I apologize. You know. Thank okay. You. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Name, just okay. It's not an admission of guilt, it's just a promise that you're going to show up in court and take care of that, okay? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Is your lady here with you? Yes, she is. Okay. She is. Okay, what's her name? Her name is Shannon. Her name is Shannon? Yes. Okay, she, all right. It'll be Egroff soon. We're not, like, we don't have the paperwork. We're, we are, we're in a common law marriage, but she's, like, not technically Egroff yet, but, you know. She's wow, he actually admitted it. He could... <laughs> Good for you, Rev. I guess to the police, he can't do that. Oh, we're common law married. Well, he, he kind of said that, but he realized that, 
in the eyes of the law, that don't mean nothing. But then he he said he didn't care about uh about that there was another kid in the car that he banged into when he was at the school picking up uh Shani's younger autistic kid. Because uh, a lot of this stuff, I was I I saw it happen in real time. I was watching them in 2019. It's not that good. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, Shannon Watts, what's your last name? Dornbush. Dornbush? Yeah. Okay, can I talk to her? Can you ask her to come here? You want to talk? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go and I don't know. Okay. But yeah, I, I, it happened, so it's like, yeah, I, I'm guilty. I'm pleading guilty, so. Well, this you can talk to the judge. Okay. Okay. Is it a fine? Is that what it's going to be? Well, I don't know. It depends on him. Okay. Okay. All right. Hi. Hi, Shannon. Can you step out outside here for so what we can I talk? It's so cold. I can't. You can just step out here, please. Come in. You're not arresting me, are you? I'm just want to talk to you. What am I doing? So please, you guys I'm have... afraid of you guys. Please. I can't. I can't. I'm afraid of you guys. What? Please. Hey, just come I, here. I've had a really bad reaction with you guys. Well, yeah. you don't need to have a bad reaction. You need to just yeah, step out here. Do you know what you guys did to her in prison? No, I don't. No, come on, Revan. You don't either because you weren't there. Okay, stop it. We saw the video cam footage. Uh, Shani was making excuse after excuse. That That's what they did to her. They didn't do nothing to her. Give me a break. Shani just doesn't want to be in trouble. And again, if I wish one of these police officers would have just explained to her, it's a law until you guys go back to court and decide to settle things and be around each other. You know, restraining, they give you a restraining order for a reason just to make sure, like, you know, because obviously, obviously, your life with Shani is very uh, volatile. We've seen it time and time again. So maybe you understand why now they wanted uh, you guys to be separate until you went through the court process. No, I don't have a phone. That wasn't us, man. I don't care. It wasn't me and, and here. Your, your police force is So just come here. No, okay. Just, I'll be right here. Ma'am, I need you to step outside. Mm -hmm. Why did she have to be outside? It's my house. Okay, so let's talk, okay? What did I do? You and him, you have issues? No. Yes, and you are, you're the protected party, and she's the restrained party. We don't have issues, though. We don't have any issues. Well, you guys oh, yeah? do on no. the system. No, we don't. No, we don't. Well, you guys do on the system, okay? What's your name? I'm Shannon. What's your last name? Darbush. Darbush. We haven't done anything, Okay. Though. I need you to step here. What did I do? Ma'am. I didn't, we didn't do anything. Ma'am, just calm down. Leave me alone. You're not out there. I can't. Who do you think Well, you we're going to have to take her then. Why? So you have an option. I didn't do it. Uh, Hobbs, uh, I, this is about, this is when he just said, when you hit the car, that's, that is the timeline. He hit the car. He ran home. The police went to his house and saw that Shani was not supposed to be around him. Now, I don't know why Shani wasn't picking up her kids if this was the issue. But again, she was using him. What, what's wrong about that timeline? That is what happened. Rev hit a car at the school and drove home. Drove out of there with uh, Shani's autistic son in his car. Uh, I didn't know that there was a, another kid in the car he hit. His Rev always said that that car was empty and it was just like, you know, sitting there in the parking lot. I didn't know there was a kid sitting in there. So uh, sorry about that. That's the first time I'm here. But everything else is this is that's what happened. That is the timeline. But uh, you know what? A agree to disagree. You know, I'm not trying to make an argument. You know, I'm just saying this is what I remember because I remember watching this, all this stuff when it was going down. Whoa! Stop! Stop! Why, why are you taking her? Why are you taking her? Hey, can you be nice to me? Can you Ew! Be nice to me? Can you be nice to me? I'm not even doing anything to you! I just called the code 13. I just called the code 13. Why are you taking her? I'm not even struggling with her. Why are you taking her? Why are you taking her? Why are you taking her? Oh, God. Please wear underwear or something, Shani. I, 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 uh, 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 I'm not going to say anything anymore. <laughs> Yes, so you can't. I don't have a 
gotta have it. We got a retraction of the restraining order. I'm not going. I, I have nothing. Look, it's stop resisting. Can you just listen to me? We got a retraction of the restraining order. You know, does Rev not remember when the first time they got arrested that all that stuff went down? When he was talking about uh, he had marks all over his arms and stuff? He doesn't remember that? I, I, I guess not. I'm not resisting. There is absolutely no order for protection. Can we stop yelling anymore. outside? There is no order There's no order of protection, protection, protection anymore. anymore. We got it done in court to take it down. What are you doing? So who take care of that? The judge! Well, because it's in the system. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. How do you think I know your name? Got stuck. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. She is wearing pants. <laughs> it's just they're so like, yeah, they just get sucked up there. Jason, William, E. Groff, get back in the house. I love you. Step back. And that's the worst thing. Like, they're, they're, those two kids are in there right now. And like, seriously, right now, like my heart goes out to those kids. I am so happy and I'm so glad that they've been with them, uh, I guess, over a year, over a year uh, free. What uh, Around the December, this will be their uh, second Christmas without her. And I'm sure they're doing so much better without them in their life. You know, having police show up. All this other stuff. It's just like, folks, like we all call it the Shanny effect. You see this and you're, you know, uh, don't be like this. Do the right thing. You know, it's not that bad. Nothing like this will happen to you if you just bite the bullet. All right, I'm sorry. I hit another car. Rev could have gotten a ticket and it could have been done. They never would have came here. Uh, but yes, I call it the Shanny effect. You know, just doing better after seeing, you know, what not to do in life. Please listen to me. I want Please. To I'm, going to, I'm going to listen to you, but we're going to go to my car, okay? And then we're going to talk, because I'm not going to talk close to him. We left the music so this part. You fucking piece of trash. You serve and protect. <laughs> Can we get, just look up. Oh, right. It's been retracted. Okay, so let's see. Please unlock me Let now. me tell you something. You're, what you're doing what is happened? holding me against my will. What yeah. happened? Because you guys have a protect. You are the protected party. No. It's yes. It's in the system. The DA, I don't need to call the DA. Whoa. No. Yes. Man, I, I, you know, maybe this is why he's had so many problems with police. You, you hear how he how he talks to people? You know, like, like for real, if, if this was happening to you and you figured, oh, yeah, we had uh, an issue, a bump in the road, you know, life on life's terms. But we, you know, we fixed it. Then you could go inside your house, get a paper of that, because they would have sent you a copy from the courts. You could run outside and be like, "Here, right here, uh, we're okay to be around each other." And again, to me, the worst part is that those two little boys had to be there listening to all this crap happening outside. It's awful, folks. Yes. Big you don't off, need to call. Yes. Big off for hanging here. Now. Well, you guys should have called and make yes. sure this is, this is it, over. It was over. Oh my God. Let go of me, please. You're hurting my arm. Do you have your shoes? Let go of Where are your shoes? In the house, of course. It's nighttime. I was sleeping. Okay. I've had Uncover Benadryl. Now. Now. This is awful. Now. <laughs> oh, Revs. Yes. You're holding me against my will. Revs putting the smack down. <laughs> We are illegally bound to be together. We can be together. I got a court order that said we could be together. Uh, what was the date when it happened? What, what, when he let it go? Yeah, it I was. I can't remember the exact date, but it, it was, was in September. Ago. It was months ago. Please let go of me now. Let go of her. You're going. This is against my will. This is against my will. Do you have a warrant? Do you have a warrant? I don't need a warrant. Oh, yes, you yeah, do. No, too late for that. Trash. Yes, what? I am not in the system for you this are anymore. You're authoritarian scum. You're supposed to serve and protect, and what? you have a woman that's so traumatized in front of you. She needs medical assistance. They won't give me medical assistance. You know, and, and again, now I hear some people say this. A lot of people have trauma. A lot of people have medical issues. You know, I don't knock that. You know, we all have bad days. We all have bad months, you know, and everything. But still, that can't just be an excuse for, for everything. You just can't go around life being like, well, I have this and 
I have that, and this is this is why I do these things, and blah blah blah. But Rev, she hurt you bad, and before she even met you, she ran after her ex husband's brother with a hatchet. She's violent. She's abusive. She's nasty. You know, uh, you know that man. And then once you started to fight back, what did she do, Rev? She called the cops on you. I, I don't get it. You know, I'm sure Rev of uh, recent times would, would probably not have acted this way because Shani's just a difficult person to be around. But I guess some people could just be like, well, it's my BPD or my fibro and get away with that. She'll get it, yeah. No, you won't do anything for me except destroy my life like you've already had. No, 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 fuck you. And fuck all you cops out there. You just destroy me as a person. I'm just... Stay a while. Please they are coming. Thank They're you. They're holding me hostage. Yeah. They are coming. Thank Against you. Against my will. These cops are... These They're cops do not belong here. No, they don't. They're holding me hostage. Against my will. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're telling me something that's not true. I had a court order that said we could be together. See, this is why they couldn't stay at this apartment, for real. They had there was too much, too many problems. They, you know, the neighbors didn't want to deal with this. All hours of the night, police showing up. It was, it, it was seriously so, so damn ridiculous that they, they had to get out. And I'm sure they, they left that uh, apartment in such a big ass mess like they did in the Colorado condo. Yes, that was all dropped. It was all dropped. When the DA hears about this. Can I have my glasses on? I fell on the ground. Yeah, baby. You're holding me against my will. Let go of my arm. You can let go of my arm. I'm not going to run. I know you're not going to run. I'm just holding you because I thought you were going to fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you can't run. <laughs> no, you're hurting me oh, so fucking you're gonna bad. Like you're trying to help no, her. you're doing something illegal right now. You're holding me against my will. You realize you've been hurting her uh -huh. this entire time? You're Ooh, I wonder what she's saying. <laughs> And I just want to add this and I'll, I'll play it for a little bit. Rev still does not care that there's two little boys in that house. They have to take them, uh, their mother. There's no choice about that. If I was Rev, I mean, it would never be Rev. <laughs> never, never. But if I was in this instance, I would think, you know what? I'm going to go back in the house. Let them do what they have to do. Calm those kids down because you know they probably woke up by now and just be like, hey, kids, it's going to be okay. Calm down. You know, I'm here, the boyfriend, and uh, we're going to do what we got to do. We're going to have a good sleep and we'll get mom back tomorrow or whatever and everything will be okay. Instead of being outside, freaking out, not even giving a crap about those kids. And, you know, because he, if he kept pushing them, Rev would have went to jail too. But they don't. He doesn't think like that. He doesn't think that I have to protect these two underage kids inside because their mom's being arrested yet again. I don't know, man. It's just BS. Please like, folks. I'm not. I. Oh my god! Is this what America is like now? You kidnap people. You need to check me out. This is what America is like now. <laughs> What you're doing is illegal. What you? I understand him going to jail. Hey, I'm here. I shouldn't be going here. Yeah, they're in the back. I'm, I'm so sorry. Hey, I'm Ivy. I shouldn't be in jail. You're gonna go with this. Yeah. I shouldn't be in jail. Do you have any weapons in your room? No. Hurt to poke me. You know what I have? Absolutely nothing. Do you have in any of world. those knives, weapons, anything that might hurt me? I'm naked, dumbass. <laughs> I'm naked, dumbass. It's illegal. <laughs> right to be together. You're gonna get your ass sued. Yeah, how, how did that work so out? Bad. Well, you decided to mute me as some kind of fishing thing. Oh. I mean, yo, I'm telling you guys, it, it freaks me out when I see people walk around barefoot because I'm a type 1 diabetic. I, I, you know, ever since I was 10 years old, I can't walk around barefoot because I'd be scared if I stepped on something, uh, I, you know, I wouldn't feel it. And then, you know, it might get gangrene or something. I have to cut it off.
<laughs> that's worst case scenario. But like, you know, my parents always put the fear into me because of the diabetes. So when I see someone walking around barefoot, especially in a, in a driveway like that, where, you know, there's broken glass out there and stuff, I'm always like, ah, <laughs> but I, you know, what? this is like the Shaney's preferred way of going to jail with no underwear on and, and no shoes or socks. Me out of my handcuffs, at least. Can we talk? Yeah, we can talk. Because I'm not, I don't have a rest the restraining order is gone. We can be together. You're putting me against. He's in the system, ma'am. Wow. What's the system for so what? The, to, uh, see to the court to fucking court. legally yeah. told me I could be with him. be with this man. Like, seriously. Okay, where does this go? Here goes here. You're throwing me in the system for fucking being with him. So wait, so let me get this straight. So the the, the, the one time before that, uh, the one time Shani couldn't get into the police car because she was too big, they had double put handcuffs, they had to wait for an ambulance. But now, oh, she can get in the police car now. You see? That that was so damn selective. I didn't do anything! See if it, if it... You're going to kill me again? You've already destroyed me as a person! Okay, ma'am, hang tight. You already destroyed me! I'm gonna need to ask him. You guys are fucking evil! What do you need? Are you alright? Yeah, we're fine. So, uh, she, he is a protected party. She's restrained. Okay. She couldn't be with him. Okay. And they did a scandal, so he hit him. Okay. Because I, I, I went to call five her. Okay. So, he hit him, so he's going for assault second degree. Um... Okay, so right there. Uh, she's not supposed to be with him because the last time he hit him. Where I don't know what I'm getting wrong here. That's that is what happened, and it looks like because Rev went to there and he, and he hit that car when they went back to check it out. This is what happened. I did hear about this, but I never actually saw the footage. That's why I'm showing the footage now, because I never actually got to see the footage. I I did hear about it after it happened, but I can't believe the. Uh, the footage was actually be able to get uh, found, which is great. And like I said, I did link uh, BGTV's uh, channel in the Discord if you want to check. Uh, not in the Discord. I'm sorry, in the description. So if you want to check that out, it's right there in the description. Because like I say, always credit goes where credit's due. But let's get back to this, guys. Thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate it. Did you feel pain? Oh, yeah, right here. Cool. So, so we can do assault three. Yeah. Oh my god, thank you god. Uh, I just need to say this. Thank you god for giving me a normal mother because I would have jumped out the damn window if I heard this in front of my house or apartment. All the neighbors can hear. No wonder why they had they couldn't stay there at this apartment because this is so damn embarrassing. It's like, yeah, no one wants to go to jail, but seriously, just take the L, be quiet, innocent until proven guilty, don't say anything without a lawyer, all that stuff. Especially if you feel like, oh, this is some sort of misunderstanding. Why add to it? And, you know, you add to it, you push them, they will, the police will push back, you know, because they want, you know, their safety has to be paramount as well. So he was the subject of a hit and run. I came here to give him a ticket, but uh, dispatch found that he is a protected party of a restraining order. Yeah. So. Uh, actually, no, we're, we're good. Thank you. Thank you. Damn, I thought the last arrest one was great. And you know, I'm sorry, this one's even better. This one's even better. <laughs> you know, like she freaked out, started talking about uh, mind control and programming in that last uh, arrest video. But this one's, this one's, this one's good. <laughs> I mean, it's bad, but you know, you know what I mean, folks. Hey, you want them on the back or the front? I mean, you want them on the back or the front? Please give me the. 
Can you repeat? Get kidnapped. You're kidnapping me. I didn't do anything wrong. I was in my house. I was sleeping. All you guys Sorry, what? You want to go talk to the other person? Where is he? Is he there? Actually, no, I don't really need to talk to him. There's nothing to talk to him. I've done nothing wrong. What do you need done? I've done nothing wrong. I'm gonna, I need to take him to jail for assault, second degree, and obstruction. No, why don't you just take your gun and shoot me in the head? Hey, Shannon, relax. Mo. Oh. You're so rough to me. Why can't you just be gentle? Why can't you be human? Because you're not. <laughs> Doing just fine. You guys are pushing me out of court. I'm gonna double lock this. It'll hurt you. How can you go? <laughs> Yo, man, look. They have to double lock her again. <laughs> Use two cups because their arms are like, you know, big bologna sausages. I handed it to you. Ah, yeah, yeah. Put it in my car. So is he in there? Yeah, yeah he's so in the front of that car. Um, you guys can transport him? Or do you want us to transport him to jail? Uh, what do you guys need? I think we have cars and I'm going to ask someone to transport him then. Okay. Because I'm going to jail anyway. You guys got my cuffs. <laughs> You're going to jail anyway? Yeah, because yeah, so he's, he's, he's in my cuffs. Oh, okay. So let me ask one to follow us. Okay. And then uh, we go. So can someone... Can you... I'm actually on hey, the yeah. I just came down because I heard you call out. No, because uh, he's gonna transport him, but like I'm, I'm doing the rest. Okay. So. You want us to transport him? Uh, can you? He has to go anyway, his son, because he has he has to get his handcuffs, and he's already in his car. Okay. An unmarked, non-secure car. Ah no! So we take, we take, we take, yeah. So we take. Hey man, look at how many police. Look at how many police needs to be just to get Shani into a police car, an SUV police car, nonetheless. But but still. Like that's that's ridiculous, you know. It's it's just I don't know why people don't understand. It's like yeah, no one wants to go to jail, but if you just go, the judges have all the power. Think of the police seriously as the middleman. That's what would help me. Oh, thank you, Kitty Chef. Let me see what you said. For real. It's just, you do yourself a favor and just do what they say and you'll be okay. Oh, thank you, uh, Kinky Chef. Yes, like the stream, folks. I appreciate it. You know, again, this is all just fun. Don't, don't give these people any hate, you know. We're just watching a thing. When the video's done, you know, it's, it's just... I hope it gives everyone, like I call the shanty effect, to not do these things. You know, it's best to stay quiet because you can incriminate yourself, especially if you didn't do anything wrong. Because sometimes everyone's human. We do make mistakes. But don't act like this. This is not how to get your point across, especially if you're an adult with kids, especially if, if one's on the spectrum. Here, let me just fast forward up a little bit. But I'm just trying to say, you know, you don't want to act like this. It's, this is so inappropriate, unprofessional, childish. But, uh, you know, police, they have to do their job. It sucks, you know. Uh, I have family members that are police officers. I'm always scared for them. And I know they have a tough job, you know. But just you have to always think of it as they're just doing their job. It's not personal. But again, my opinions, you know, everyone has their own. That's just mine.
uh, you know, like when my grandmother was alive. Uh, without the police, she would have passed away. They got in there. They got to save her. She was also diabetic, and they saved her life. And after that, my grandma was so grateful to uh, the police in her town. So, you know, it's it's all it, – I guess it depends on, you know, the department and everything. But you always just got to remember, it's just a job for them. It's not personal. Okay, let me see if let's move it up a little bit. And I'm just sure they're just talking about the uh, – all this where it went down. I mean, again, it just looks like if they just went to the door to talk to Rev about the hit and run at the kid's school and Shani didn't butt in with her big butt like she always does, this never would have happened. Once again, something that never would have happened if Shani's big butt wasn't in the way. You know, but Shani always has to do that, interject. And then when she realizes, oh, I'm not even supposed to be here today, she's the Dante of YouTube. Um, then she's like, oh, it's the oh, all right, here we go. <laughs> Everything, are you okay? Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, are you too good? What's your name? Oh, oh, god, this is the kids. Well, you know what? I'm glad that they're bleeped out. You know, I guess again, you know, it's it's unfair. These kids are gonna have to grow up, and you know, they are always like I've been saying, Dave, since day one, the victims. We were always, all of us were worried about those kids. So I'm glad that they're blurred out, but uh, it still just hurts, breaks my heart, you know. I don't like to see any kids suffering like this. And of course they heard what was going on, but not really so much from the police. I, in my opinion, from Shannon yelling and from Rev yelling. And Rev should have done the job as a parent, which he's not, in my opinion, to go in there and calm down. Well, let's hear what they have to say. My name is Ray. Okay. What's going on here? You just cleaning? Yeah, I'm just sweeping up the floor. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Um, do you have more evidence? Do you have some evidence that won't happen? Huh? Do you have some evidence? Your mom's gonna come back here, okay? So wow. So uh, it's just sound like because if you remember the uh, the last arrest video arrest video I have on, on my channel that that move that um it was a complete mess a complete mess. And I guess Rev, when he ran in there and told him to start cleaning up the, the house because Rev is too damn lazy. Rev, screw you. You're you're a jerk off, Rev. You really, really are. You know, you got, I hope you were helping cleaning too. But you know what? It shouldn't take the police to come to the apartment for you to start cleaning up, which you know clearly stuff and clothes everywhere that sh shouldn't be there unfolded. It's just, just nasty, you know? I'm just so glad that, that they don't have to live in these nasty conditions anymore, folks. Hold on one second, okay? Why not Jason? Jason's gonna come back, but maybe not now exactly, okay? Hold on. I'll take Thank you. Yep. Man, I don't know why they keep on muting. I guess because nothing, no one's talking at that point. I mean, to take this many police to take Shani away is just so damn ridiculous. What a waste of resources, you know? But I'm sure at this point, the police, they, they knew who Shani and Rev were. They were getting many calls on them, a lot, you know? This is when they all started with their clout and their, oh, we have, you guys are peasants. We have all this money. We're just going to get high. And the kids are in the next room. And who cares? We're in Colorado. You can't do nothing about it. Well, maybe not for that, but they can do plenty about hit and runs, uh, nasty, racist, and sexist comments, and all that other stuff. And just Rev being a, uh, a wackadoo. <laughs> You know, cursing at the police. Yeah, let me just bring that up. 
But yeah, I am curious what is being said here. I mean, usually with the police right here is like a compare notes, you know? And remember, folks, uh, even when they were living in uh, G-Man's house in Pennsylvania, the neighbors called. And I heard that those neighbors' phone calls. I think I actually have a video on that, too, saying that from across the street, they can hear Rev yelling, the kids yelling, Shani, of course, yelling. So can you imagine in a closed quarters apartment where, like, you know, the walls are paper thin and they're, like, right next door? I'm sure they heard yelling a lot more. You know, they always blame the trolls instead of blaming themselves for being this crazy. Come on. Just trying to add some commentary. But yeah, there's a lot more like videos like post after this. I think I cover one or two. I know there's a couple more. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. That kind of coincide where Shani, I guess, had to stay at a hotel because after she got out again, you know, then she realized, all right, I cannot be around Rev. But it doesn't look like so many reporter. It just looks like this was all because of Rev's hit and run at a school. And again, I feel like why Shani wasn't doing that, I don't understand. She had a car at the time. She could have picked them up. And that would have, probably would have looked better if Red wasn't supposed to be around them. Well, because of his safety. So I don't know why. Unless they thought that Shani wasn't supposed to be around Rev and the kids, but it didn't seem like that. It just seemed like he, she shouldn't have been around Rev. Man. I hope I get a little bit more on... What's going on? Like I said, it, you know, that first arrest is crazy. Hmm. Call up and check something while that's happening. All right, so I don't know. It doesn't look like there's anything else coming on about that, but that's fine. All right, like I said, I just wanted to cover that because I never got to actually see that part go down, but I was there for when that did go down, but it just took a while. And I'm still actually waiting for the arrest footage, and hopefully I get that, and then uh, people will enjoy that. The... Uh, when they actually arrested Rev that time. So if I do that, you know, I'm sure to let you all know. I'm just still waiting for it. It's been taking a long time. But uh, guys, uh, that'll be it for right now. Uh, unless you want to see something else. Um, let's see. I mean, I just saw the YouTube Rocks thing from that day yesterday. And then... Uh, I think I did, yeah, the, the pray for. Yeah, and I don't feel like going into that one. Uh, no, yeah, but you know what I will do? Let me look up just one thing before I go. You know, uh, try to leave you guys with a funny one. But uh, all, uh, thank you for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And again, anyone I ever show, uh, always check them out. Like BGTV, Fat Courtney Love. 
great channels. I love their work. Of course. Uh, the But, you know what? I'll just leave it at that. Sorry, I was just looking at somebody. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'll just leave it at that, guys. All right. So, thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Um, I'll see you guys in a few. Uh, have a great day. Thank you for hanging out with me. Please like, subscribe if you're not to. Or sorry, subscribe if you're not. And I will see you soon. I love you all. And I hope everyone's having, uh, you know, just a good day. Uh, peace and love. And I will see you soon. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Bye-bye, folks. Love yous.